Hey guys, welcome back. Very good evening to all of you. My name is Ajay Parmar and now you are going to watch a video on BI tax has one value. This is what we are going to discuss today and uh, this video I will upload for, for my English subscribers. Okay. I received an email from one of my subscribers. Um, this is what he has written. Uh, Hi Ajay, this is your subscriber from Canada. I want to thank you for your great knowledge you sharing with us. I was sad to see you go away since you were not uploading the videos on English from a long time. Well, uh, yes, I think it's been uh, it's been a year almost. I I was only focusing on my Hindi viewers, but now I'm back. I will keep uploading the videos in Hindi and English both. <laughs> thank you so much for noticing it and i'm very happy that uh, you uh, you are still uh, my subscriber you haven't left it so definitely we will uh, uh, upload uh, more videos in the coming future uh, yes so coming back to the point but recently saw your english video on the vba events and it was fantastic he's talking about i think uh, the video i uploaded uh, two days back i want to bother you if you don't mind searched on internet so much but couldn't understand the dax has one value can you please explain when because when you explain i immediately understand thank you for your great work well okay uh, before i uh, um, i forget i'll upload this video in this power bi dax english playlist okay because we want to talk about this in english okay for hindi this is another one power bi hindi okay so he actually is saying that he wants an information uh, about the has one value so guys you know that there is a dax in power bi which is uh, called has one value and it's very interesting actually uh, this is how you write let me go and show you first of all has one value what is it so i'll try to explain you i'll try to uh, explain you obviously with the uh, with, uh, you know an example basically if you read the definition dear uh, my student return true when there is only one value in the specified column it actually can tell you whether you have selected or your user who whosoever is working on your power bi you know dashboard on report that whether you have selected one value in the filter or multiple values especially let's talk about the slicers okay for example i'll give you one uh, scenario you have here slicer okay this is the slicer uh, let me just create this here now in the slicer we all know that we can use you know a lot of different stuff i mean all sort of headers you can use this generally we use the text headers okay so if i show you this um, my let's say uh, this table uh, the cost purchase table this is uh, my table for my training actually now you see uh, here what i do is uh, or maybe i use let's say something else maybe the author okay i put the author here okay now sometimes what if you want that if you select one author you always know that the cross filtering happens and you get to see the data right uh, let's create a table also quickly first of all this is my table right now here if i put anything from my another table let's say uh, the cost purchase table i say that i want the book and i want let's say the total paid amount like this it's coming right now if you select any other author this number will change we all know that right this number will change according to the author which is good which should happen actually now what if you want that the moment i unselect all the authors i should be triggered here a warning let's say that hey my user you haven't selected the slicer you haven't selected any field you know maybe you can say that you can show here another column you can create and you say that error error, error you know sort of that stuff right and what if let's say he selected two items in the slicer then also you want to give the warning how you can do that then so basically you are saying that i am going to allow you one filter if you select more filters maybe i will not give you the output so in that way right so for, so i'll give you one very uh, quick example okay 
as i said that you can use the calculations also maybe you you want to check the total contribution of each of the book on the total sale like access vba book advanced excel vba what is their contribution on the total sale so 15 divided by 362 36 divided by 362 4 divided by 362 blah 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 right so you can create that uh, you know separate column here and you can then say that if you select multiple items or you don't select anything i will not show you that field so you must select only one item you're getting the point but i'll not get into that okay um if after watching this video if let's say you are not able to do any sort of the whatever the function you are applying in your project if you if you let's say still feel that you need more examples let me know about it on the comment section okay i'll give you the example so now what i do is i create here um let's say a dax uh, let's uh, go to the dax here let's say that if you select one author i'm okay so you're gonna write if in the if you write has one value okay then you go and choose that the slicer so your slicer is author right so i go and write author it's coming from the bookstore table now has one value is it always returns true or false have you selected one item it is going to give you what true have you selected more than one item or maybe nothing then this will give you the false automatically it has one value you know you're you're actually asking a question you know has one value is there is there one value assume it in this way understand this in this way so i say that yes if you have a one value close this then go in the result too we all know if function right it's the same function it works the same way in power bi dax oh yes of course there are a couple of rules which are don't find in excel but if you are using a simple if like this then and you know it's it's the same as is as in excel so if you know excel if this is not going to be a problem for you now what do you want to say here so i say that um if the result is going to be true so let's say i say that you know uh you're going good okay good for example otherwise otherwise you can't select let's say you can't select multiple values so just go and now see the magic this is my let's say dax uh, i'll just give it a name called dax testing okay now if i go and put this dax uh, the testing over here uh, let's create uh, this one the card here because i want to display the information right i want to display the information so i'll use this card now this is your card so what i do is i use this my dax testing over here you see that of course you can change the size of this just go in the formatting i'll not uh, go into all that stuff but you can see that i'm here actually getting the value and this is what i need now if you select let's say one author good it's working right if you select let's say this one again good good but if you select let's say more than one items this is going to show you you can't select multiple values and if you let's say uncheck all again you will you know get the prompt that you can't select multiple values or no value i mean you can customize this isn't it now the point is i know that you must be wondering that this information is okay but this is still showing me the data you know the data is still coming right yes the data is coming because you have not used any has one value here now for example let's say you i'll i'll just uh, quickly give you one very basic example let's say you want to calculate the total paid tax okay so you say that if has one value which is my author if you have a one value then i want the sum tax to be applied here so you can use the sum tax let's say total paid right the paid amount which is my field customer purchase paid this is my field okay the original field uh, of my table so it's summing it right so i should be able to see the sum otherwise let's say uh, i want to say that blank if you have more than one value right now this makes sense right so if i go and press enter of course you need to rename this give it a good title because your user will not understand this now let's go and put this measure over here okay 
Now see that what's happening. Now you can get rid of this total paid, okay? Because I don't want the total paid. So what I do is I quickly go here in my table and I just remove this total paid. Yeah. So now you see that the data is gone. The moment you select, let's say an author called Ajay, you start getting the answer. Do you see that now, right? So what is happening now? At the same time, you are also displaying here. As I said that you need to go and put this, you know, give it a good formatting. I mean, this is uh, looking very, very big. So you can go here and just, you know, uh, kind of, uh, uh, let me just put this on the top. Uh, you can put the border and uh, in the data label also just make sure that you have the smaller font because it's a by default you know it's a card so it always uses the bigger font so you can you know i mean customize this accordingly <laughs> i'll not get into that as as i said that right of course get rid of this uh, the title also okay that's there that's available that this option we have in the cards right i'll quickly do one thing i'll just go and put the border border is already there fine okay so this will also go pop up in your on your screen user if let's say user worries that what happened you know where's the data gone L let's say the data gone at least this is going to give the message to the user that you cannot select the multiple values or maybe you cannot leave that blank you're getting the point so this is why we actually this is one of the i mean the example uh, of this has one value you can use it right i hope you now got the point and yes i have just used a one simple sum you can do a complex calculations also right the idea is that has one value basically gives you the control in case if you want to keep the one filter on always as far as the power bi is concerned right in power pivot it again uses the same concept but there we have the pivot so we go and uh, work with this function according to the pivot you know so uh i hope yes and one more thing i just forgot um, yeah so you see you instead of saying the good you know you can even display the name of the author you can use the selected value well that's not the topic uh, of this video but maybe i mean if you already know the selected value uh, why not i'll just tell you uh, because then you can take your this tax to the next level instead of that good you know you can say that um, uh, whatever the author you want you can just go and say selected okay selected value again this is not the topic of this video right so i'm not going to explain that but you can say that selected value and whatever you have selected in the author so this will return you the name of that author okay cool and you can also concatenate it that you know you are let's say looking at this is how simple I have just concatenated this with the selected value so this way you know you can see the name of the author also over here on this page you know so let's quickly uh, let me click outside yeah so you can see that you're looking at the asif so if you uh, if you select rajiv you're looking at the rajiv you see that if you select sunil we are looking at the sunil and if you just go and say that no nothing then huh, that's how it is and the data is also gone blind all right so thank you so much uh, for this um, um, and uh, i hope uh, all of you have enjoyed this video in case if you have any questions doubt you can write in the comment section and in any case if you want to check this video in hindi well you can write it me again in the comment section thank you so much guys i'll see you then very soon bye bye